coming down the levels of reality. And they feed off the energy that we um, generate through our states of emotional and mental states, and they manipulate that. Now, the one energy they can't take, um, the many energies they can't take, that they're in harmony, but what we call love, the energy of the heart, no way they want anything to do with that. They can't, they can't cope with it, and they can't sync with it, and they want to shut that energy off, and that's what they do by manipulating society and playing us off against each other. There's a guy called uh, Mr. Emoto, a Japanese researcher I spent a long time with, spent a whole weekend with once in London. We actually wrote a book together, funnily enough, um, just not uh, writing, but just talking and it all being trans translated. Um, and he's famous for filming... Uh, water crystals um, where he has put the water in contact with various vibrational states and indeed just writing love on the side of the uh, container or hate or putting a mobile phone on it or whatever and what he then does is, and I've seen his, um, his uh, uh, laboratory and stuff in um, Tokyo, he freezes it very very quickly and what is then captured in the water crystal is the vibration of the love on, written on the side. Because uh, you write love, generates love. If that's the, the, the motive of writing love, uh, hate, all the rest of it. So that is what a water crystal exposed to words of love and appreciation looks like. This is what a water crystal looks like when it's exposed to um, hate. Now, that's the world before the schism. This is the world afterwards. And it's this energy that re represented by that crystal that these guys want us to produce and, and the operations, uh, the, the level that they operate on themselves. So we need to be very careful about the way we talk to each other, the way we express things, because if you can put the word love on the side of a container of water and create that difference or hate, imagine what we're doing to the energy field and our own individual energy fields as we interact when we are hurling abuse at each other. But that's what these guys want. That's, they want to conflict, schism, break up. The society is just a, a manifestation of that schism. So that again is love and appreciation. This is a crystal uh, from water that had a mobile phone tied to it. And everyone's got a mobile phone. Oh, got a mobile phone. Very so convenient. Yeah, they burn my brain. It's good. Very <laughs> so convenient. You don't have to get anyone to burn your brain for you. It does it automatically. <laughs> so the idea, and my God, have they, have, 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 have they succeeded up to this point, is to turn humanity at war with itself. That's the way they do it. And uh, in this film, uh, Monsters, Inc., which I took two years ago when I was a little boy, I nearly fell off the bloody floor because that was all about monsters going from the monster world where there was no um, uh, source of energy into the human world, frightening children. The scream uh, was caught in a, uh, in a kind of tube and they brought it back to the monster world to um, uh, be the power system of their world. And fear is the biggest, um, not just controller of humanity and suppressor of humanity, it's the biggest uh, creator of this energetic state.